And I also have something to share from the uh, Acacia Park uh, Worship Fest. Keep thinking, you only have to half listen, two ears. So one ear thinking, one ear listening. Um, I went dressed as the joy heart and God opened up wonderful opportunities to just go and hug people. And it also seemed like he was just speaking in the prophetic. There was people I'd walk up to. There's one gal who had red hair and he said, She's a creative fire starter. It's like, wow. So I ran across the park, me, big floppy red heart. It was quite a scene, I'm sure. And stopped her. She was quite startled. And I stopped her and said, you know what? I saw you from across the park with that red hair. And I don't know where you are in your walk with God. And she said, oh, I don't believe in that. And I said, OK, well, you don't have to because I do. And he gave me something you need to know. And I said, you know what? You, he said to me, you were a creative fire starter. And she like jumped back and did the, like the blink blink kind of thing. And, and so I, I proceeded with the word for her. And then I said, you know, he has put so much creativity and so much gifting in you. You might want to think, huh, this God who's given me so much, maybe I want to get to know him. So anyway, it was an awesome time. Okay, I'm sure that's probably 42 and a half seconds. Who's first? Come on. Doesn't have to, yeah, Sunny? Okay, now, Sterling, do we, oh, 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 no, we're not gonna, we're not gonna gyp Sunny. We gotta back it up, back it up, back it up. Well, you, you ever uh, get caught up in a God thing, you don't even realize it, but you're not sure what's going on? I work downtown, so I'm around the homeless a lot, and one of my workers called me and said, hey, Subway's having a two-for-one special. Do you want a sandwich? And I said, sure. So I got a free sandwich, and she bought me a Coke also. And So I'm taking it back to the vehicle, and this homeless guy, about 30 feet away, yells at me and said, hey, would you go in and get me a drink? And so I walked over to him, and he said, I said, sure. So he, hand, he tries to hand me two bucks, and I thought, no, I'll just get you one. So I walk in there, and there's a whole line of people because it's two for one. And I'm standing in line, and a bunch of office gals are up there, and one of them comes back to me and says, hey, was you going to give that guy a, come in to buy that guy a drink? I don't even know how she even knew because she wasn't out there. I said, yeah. So she said, well, we got the two for one thing and a soda, but I'm, we're not going to drink the soda. Here's the cup. So I'm standing there, now I don't have to pay for the drink, but I'm standing in line, so I thought, well, I'll get him a sandwich. So I wait through the whole thing, and I order the sandwich. I get to the counter, and the manager comes over, stands there, and tells the, the cash register lady, hey, th this one's on us. And I, so I'm, I'm sitting there going, <laughs> I have no idea what's going on here, but something's going on. So, uh, you know, I, you just get caught up in the God things, and Amen. you give a little, and all of a sudden, sometimes you become aware of what's coming back to you and what's, what's going on for everybody. So. Amen. That's awesome.